I'm here in Medjugorje and I'm with, what's your name? Melissa. Melissa, where are you from? California, Modesto, California. And how often have you been in Medjugorje? This is my eighth time. Your eighth time. And why do you come back all the time? Because I just feel that Our Lady is strongly calling us to come back. Mm -hmm. I feel that there's something new that she wants to to give us more graces, more gifts. Mm -hmm. And we just, like Father said at Mass today, we have to open our hearts to to know what those gifts are so mm -hmm. we can bring them out into the world, which mm -hmm. is in such need of faith these days. And, and you said, like, how did you hear about magic going? That's a fascinating, oh. fa fascinating story. Back in 1989, I was probably 20 at mm -hmm. the time, 19 or 20, and I went on a retreat. I, I was always born and raised Catholic, but I kind of like went away and I got invited on this retreat. And I thought, well, on this retreat, it was in the Santa Cruz Mountains, I'll just do some hiking. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't really do much of the religious stuff there. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I step into the chapel, a piece is just so overwhelming. And I was um, pray the rosary. And as I was walking out, a lady was handing out little newspapers that was by Wayne Weibel, The Miracle of Medjugorje. Mm -hmm. And when I read that, I was glued to it. I read the whole thing in one sitting. And I realized that that God is for us now. He's not just for when we're when we die in heaven. He wants a relationship with us now, mm -hmm. and it just totally opened my eyes up to a, um, a a new faith, a new way of seeing things as a Catholic. Mm -hmm. And through not even having to come here, I believed right away. Mm -hmm. And my friend and I, Teresa, we made our first trip. Finally, I, my first trip was in 1991 with my friend Teresa during the wartime. Mm -hmm. And even through the wartime, we, there was so much peace here. We still felt a lot of peace. And we eventually had to evacuate because there was rumors that tanks were headed toward us. Mm -hmm. But nothing, no, as far as I know, nothing ever hit Medjugorje during that whole wartime. Mm -hmm. And then so um, about about seven years ago or so my, a group of small group of us came and we were coming in like once or twice a year mm -hmm. and then COVID hit and we were wondering if we're ever going to be able to come back here mm -hmm. and we're so grateful that everything lifted and so we're able to come back and we just came back from seeing our lady up there in apparition hill was it was so beautiful it, we really felt that as much, as much as we were longing to be with Our Lady, mm -hmm. she was waiting for us up there on that hill, and we both had our moments of crying, and <laughs> it's just so beautiful and peaceful here. No, there's... You feel her presence there? Oh, yes, definitely. You feel your presence as soon as you come into the in Medjugorje. It's mm -hmm. just so peaceful here. You can't find anywhere else, anywhere else, and it's a hard trip to come here from California. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it takes like almost 20 something hours to get here. And, but once you're here, it's and we're, we, we have a little bit of jet lag now because we just came in last night. <laughs> so well, grateful that you do the interview. Right? Yes. And, um, you said you, you got a personal relationship with God. That's oh, yes. It, it was through our lady. Through our lady. Through our lady. Can you explain a bit that process? Yeah, because somebody can have that personal relationship. Because I've, you know, I've always had like a, a love for the faith, but Jesus and God always seem so far away. It mm -hmm. just like seem like they're so holy and I'm just like this little nobody. And But Our Lady, through just, just experiencing her presence and praying, mm -hmm. she just drew me closer to a personal relationship with her, her son that I never experienced before. Mm -hmm. And it was it's hard to even explain because it's like all of a sudden God's not this far away being that's waiting for us in heaven. He's here now. He wants a relationship with us now. He wants, a, he wants a friendship. And, and it, it's just so sad to think that so many people don't recognize that. And he's totally ignored. <laughs> That's and it's so God the Father, God the Father the question, totally ignored. We all think he's this angry old man with a white beard or judges and wants to pull us to hell. And we are totally scared, no? no. And he's not oh. like that. How is he? Oh, I, it, he's just like I, I just picture. He's like he wants to embrace us with his arms open and mm -hmm. just hold us in with his, our head on his shoulder and and for how much that we hurt with things that go on or the 
because people say, well, how can God allow something like this to happen? It hurts him far more than it hurts us when he see things. He gives us free will. Yeah. It hurts him far more because he loves so much deeper than we do. And the deeper you love, the more you're going to hurt. And, um, and and Our Lady even brought me closer to a relationship to God the Father. And because mm -hmm. my, my, my biological father was Absolutely. emotionally distant. He was a good yeah. provider, and yeah. but emotionally distant. So I kind of like was comparing that to God the Father. Yeah. It's a natural thing, by the way. Yes, but it's, to it's not like that. He's like the father of my father. So it's just, you know, it's, I just love him. I can't wait to one day embrace him, God the Father. This loving, selfless, oh, loving being. Right? Selfless, loving being that, that he hurts with us, he laughs with us, he cries with us. He's he there all night. Yes. His worries and stuff like that. Yes, and it's all through Our Lady, especially through Medjugorje, mm -hmm. that um, just opened my eyes. She does magnify the Lord. That's <laughs> she magnifies the Lord a hundred percent. So and, it, and so I'm so appreciative of this place. And we would come again and again and again and again if we, you know, we could. Half round the world. Yes. <laughs> Oh, it is. The call of love, no? It is. It's such a call. I just want to be obedient to that call. When you mm -hmm. feel that nudge, that urge to come, mm -hmm. it's a call. And Our Lady opens the doors. Financially, she'll open the door. Yeah, if it's, me. yeah, if it's meant to be, um, things, the things happen. And, um, and that's how we're able to be here. Well, most of my trips, actually all of them, were through benefactors that just, out of nowhere, the money just mm -hmm. came. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. so I just feel um, I don't want to take a lot of your time, but no, I, no. I can go forever about Medjugorje. <laughs> but it, and, and it's so hard too because we do have a lot of even Catholics mm -hmm. that don't believe in um, praying to Our Lady. They they don't understand why we go t to Our Lady and not straight to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I w and I tell them, you know, when we pray to Our Lady, it's not worshiping. Because praying means talking. Mm -hmm. And I, I always use my sister that passed away. I use that as an example. Mm -hmm. I said, you know, I always talk to my sister. Does mm -hmm. that, it doesn't mean I worship her. Yeah. And that's what I do to the Blessed Mother. Yeah. I talk to her because I know she's in Jesus' presence. And praying is just another word for talking. And Jesus said on the cross, here, uh, on the cross he said, here is your mother. He knows the human condition. Yes. We have a mother and we can mm -hmm. connect through the mother. To him as well, you know, that's another way, just, you know. That was his last gift he gave to us he after establishing the, the church. Yeah. He established the church, and then he was crucified, and then he gave us his mother. <laughs> and his mother helped begin the church with yes. the apostles. Staying with them all the time. Right. You know, right. That's how it was, no? Yes, and she suffered so much, but she kept it all in her heart. And she was a good example on how to suffer with love humble and patience. And humble, right. 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 And what would you tell people like maybe they're very inspired now? Say, oh, I would like to go to confession. It's very big <laughs> Catholic church for us. It's very central here in Medjugorje. Oh. And what would you tell them if they haven't been for a long time? I love confession. I try to go. Scared, you know? Yes, I go like weekly. And the more you go, the less yeah. scared. My, my, even my my pastor once told me when I was teaching catechism to yes. confession, mm -hmm. he even says, "Don't tell them not to be scared because then they're going to think there's something to be afraid of." Mm -hmm. But personally, confession to me is so healing. I love to hear those words, I forgive you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Even if it's just little sins, because that just takes the dirt off you and the burden off you. It's not a dark room anymore. It's a, it's a, it's a exactly. More, I've heard so many times that if more people took advantage of confession, there would be less people seeing psychiatrists. Absolutely. It's for free. Yes, it's, like for free. it's for free. It's for free. <laughs> and... Um, What's your favorite base here in Medjugorje? Gosh, the, my, it's hard to say because they all have special meaning. Apparition Hill really holds a, a strong place in our hearts because mm -hmm. there's just so much peace up there. And gosh, the, the Cross Mountain. I mean, being here for so many times, there's this every, t every time you come, there's a different space experience that you have in a different place different i love all the 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 people in the shops yeah, they're like the they're like family the here he is. Yeah. they're like family you, exactly. especially when you come continue you get to know everybody it's like a big family here yeah. a big catholic family yes yes exactly so it's hard to say what's exact my favorite place to eat is probably columbo's and elf's mm -hmm. <laughs> 
yeah. but there, other than that, there's really no, everything's just so beautiful here. Mm-hmm. As soon as you step off the bus, there's peace. The fields, walking through the fields is so peaceful. To going to mass, St. James Church is peaceful, everywhere is peaceful. Yeah. And what would you tell people, why should they come here one time? Well, we've heard from really beautiful people that are really gifted that when you come to Medjugorje, you you enter into the immaculate heart of Mary. That's why it's so hard to leave, mm-hmm. because you're when you leave is when you're here, you're just just in her immaculate heart in that place of refuge. And another beautiful person told me, you're you when you come to Medjugorje, you're in the womb of Our Lady. Mm-hmm. And she's going to give you new birth when you, you just, it's just. With all our pains, all yes, our come here. Who, yes. I, I was the one most messed up. Exactly, and, and exactly. Putting it, in, putting it in order. And for Catholics and non-Catholics, because maybe a non-Catholic might get a better perspective on um, that we do not worship Our Lady. Yeah. She's she's our mother and she's in heaven. She's the closest to Jesus. Yeah. Jesus heard her heartbeat in her, his womb. Um, there's such a close connection between Our Lady and Jesus. And Jesus wants us to pray to her. He, he wants us to have a relationship with his mother. And you have to know, it's, it's, it's a Jewish mother, and the Jewish son listens to his Jewish mother. We have it, to know a bit the culture of Judaism. Oh, yeah. It is, you know, yeah. that's how, how it goes in Judaism. The mother is the central part of the family. Right. And the voice is... <laughs> and she's also the queen mother. Jesus is the king in heaven. Jesus, and bless, that makes Blessed Mother the queen mother. And they hold a, a high place in royalty. Area, but <laughs> so. <laughs> so thank you so much for oh, that. Beautiful. You're welcome, Tom. I'm, I look forward to watching your next videos. I watch you all the time. There's, she's my witness. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs>